guys, welcome back. Today I have something new and exciting for you. We are going to talk about my top five favorite crochet things. I've teamed up with my friend Elise from Le Petit Saint Crochet. We're going to share our favorite crochet related things. So once you're done watching this video, I will leave a link in the description where you can find Elise's favorites video. And by the way, we're both hosting giveaways. I know, my very first giveaway here on YouTube. At the end of this video, I'll explain how you can sign up for the giveaway. All right. Let's get into it. The very first favorite I'm going to be talking about today is something that I talk about probably too often. If you are on my newsletter or in my Facebook group, you will know that I've mentioned these about a million times just this year alone. So my very favorite hooks are Clover Amour crochet hooks. As you can see, I have a lot in the same color because I've purchased at least three sets. These are my all-time favorite hooks. I never use anything else unless I lose a hook because that happens a lot. I even have a backup here just in case. Back when I first started learning how to crochet, I was using the aluminum and plastic hooks and there's nothing wrong with them. They worked for a really long time. I think I used them for about a year. And I kept seeing these clover hooks in the store and wondered why they were so much more expensive than the aluminum hooks. I got to a point where I was like, I just gotta know. So I bought one just to test it out and see how I liked it. Later that night, my husband and I were sitting in bed and he was reading a book or something and I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my new hooks. Super excited, let's do this. So I grab my hook, I grab my project, and I start crocheting, right? And I look over at my husband like, and he's like, what? And I just jaw dropped, didn't even say anything. He's like, oh my, what? What is your problem? And I said, these hooks are amazing. Like, no joke, you can ask him if you want to. <laughs> I'll bring him on here maybe. But I really could not believe how much of a difference this hook was from the aluminum hooks. Again, no, I've never really noticed a problem with the aluminum hooks. That's all I really ever used whenever I was first starting. But the difference between these hooks, this part of the hook here on the neck is so smooth and soft and it just glides through stitches. It doesn't get caught on anything. It's just made out of the perfect material. I don't know what coating or whatever that they put on this, but it is phenomenal. So not only are my stitches smoother, but it really truly makes me crochet faster. Because using this hook is so smooth, it's so easy to go in and out of your stitches. I truly love them so much, I could go on and on. Like I said, I talk about them in my group all the time. And I'll even throw some of our comments up here on the screen so you can see what I've said about them and what the girls in the group have said about them. If you go and buy the whole package, it's about $75. On Amazon they discount it a lot so I don't know why I don't know why they do this um, but I've noticed that the price is always fluctuating so sometimes it's as low as $30 and some it's as high as 75 so you'll want to pay attention or check back periodically to see what their pricing's at but whenever you do this disclaimer I've purchased at least two of these full sets on Amazon and I've never had a problem but recently someone brought to my attention that in the reviews, a lot of people were complaining about fake hooks, not true clover hooks. So whenever you are ordering from Amazon, make sure that you are purchasing from the clover brand and not just another seller because they're not as reliable as the brand. So that's a quick disclaimer. I want you to make sure that you're paying attention to that. I don't want you to get ripped off. And if you don't want to purchase from Amazon, you can usually find the whole set and individual hooks at your local craft store. So Joann's, Michael's, Walmart, probably, maybe. I'm not sure about that one. If you do decide to get these, come back and let me know how you feel about them once you use them. Now, my next favorite crochet thing is 
my handy dandy yarn dispenser. Whenever I'm working a project, I almost always go for the inside strand before choosing the outside. But a lot of the times I'll reach in for the strand, I'll pull out a bunch of yarn vomit, and then it turns into a tangled mess. And that's no fun. So I purchased this um, a while ago, actually, a couple months ago. I don't know, it feels like it's been a long time. And what you do is you put on a skein of yarn, just right into the center there, and then you pull the strand from the outside. So it's really easy to use. It's pretty straightforward, you know, but it makes it so that you don't have to go digging for the middle strand and you still don't have yarn flopping all over the place. So that is a plus. The only con I will say is if you have children, they will take it apart and try to pull it apart and then you'll have to put it together and it's, it's super easy to put together, so I'm not complaining, but I'm just saying that that could be a con if you have children, crazy children like me. And if you struggle with tension, this is a really great way to eliminate like the tugging and pulling of pulling it from the center or just not having a yarn dispenser at all and just pulling from the outside because then it's not flip-flopping around and basically the workflow is just a lot smoother. Now on to favorite number three, we have my neck light. I saw someone mention this in my Facebook group and I thought it was the most genius thing in the whole world. My husband and I, like most people, like to watch movies in bed after the kids are asleep and we get that peace and quiet. Whenever I'm sitting and watching a movie, I have to use my hands or else I feel that I am wasting time. <laughs> Am I the only one who feels like that? And a lot of the time, I ask him to turn on the light that's on his end table. And it's super bright for him. He doesn't need it. It messes up the movie. There's a huge glare. It's not fun. And so I end up crocheting in the dark, straining my eyes when I know I shouldn't be doing that. So I got this super cool neck light. So what you do is you put it over your neck Move your hair so it doesn't pinch it or pull it out and turn on your lights. So I know you can't really see how bright it is so I'll insert another picture here. You turn on your lights and there's three different settings. So this is low, medium, and high. On the back of this thing there's a button that changes the color. So there's a, a cool tone, a normal tone, and like a warmer tone. And this thing is so bright, it might even be too bright. <laughs> so I usually use like the lowest setting. This would be really great for if you are just working on your project at night, when you're watching a movie, if you're using like a, a black yarn or a darker yarn where it's hard to see the stitches. So I think this would be perfect for that. You can even use this when you're reading a book, writing in a journal, or you can take it camping so you don't have to carry around a flashlight. It's that bright. So super handy tool, love it. By the way, my husband and I are binge freaks and we currently don't have a show to watch. So tell me your favorite show in the comments so I can check it out. The last show that we watched was Schitt's Creek on Netflix and it is the best. Ew, David, go watch it for real. My fourth favorite thing is this whip bag, like a to-go whip bag. My mother-in-law got this for me a couple years ago and it is the perfect mom whip bag. So I take this whenever I go to the doctors, whenever I go to the park or the splash pad. And whenever we go to the park, I can just throw my yarn and my project in here and just walk around and watch the kids. Yes, I might be a tad bit of a helicopter mom, but I mean, I have a toddler, so I'm allowed, you know. But I bring this around the park, so I just walk around and crochet as I'm watching the kiddos play. So it's super useful, especially if you are a mom. There are lots of little pockets in here. So there's one, two pockets on the inside, and then enough space for at least two cakes of yarn. But if you're using a smaller yarn, you could probably fit at least four, I would say. Now, it also has this little zipper pouch. You can put your hooks. You can put your notions, you can put scissors, you can put a printed pattern. And let's say you're going out, you don't wanna bring all your stuff. All you have to do is throw your yarn in, put your wallet and your keys in here. Who needs a purse when you got this handy whip bag? 
Last but not least, I have my Ball Winder and Swift. These actually came as a combo, which is super cool because you can use this on its own and then use this whenever you have a hang toe roll up. Now you've probably seen one of these before. All it does is it attaches to your table and then you wind up some scrap yarn that you have, or you can take a skein from the store and just wrap that up into a cake if that's what you prefer. But the reason why I purchased this is because I've recently been getting monthly Knit Crate subscriptions. Bonus, Knit Crate is also another favorite. They're not sponsoring this video, but I do have an affiliate link if you would like to save 20% off on your first box. But I purchased this because I'm getting Knit Crate monthly and they're always sending hanks. And so I needed a way to roll them all up quickly so I can work with them because they are the best high quality, beautiful soft yarns that I really wanna take care of. And before this, I was just placing the hank around my knees and taking forever to roll it up into a ball, which you can do and I've done it plenty of times, but I'm sick of it. This is so much easier. Now I believe Elise is actually going to demonstrate this particular item in her video, so make sure you watch it after you watch this one. Uh, I, by the way, did not even know that she was doing that, so it happened to be a coincidence that we both had the same favorite thing. But I'll show you really quick what you can do with this. So again, the same with the ball winder, it hooks up to a table or some, like a countertop or some open space. After you hook it up, you clamp this bottom part right here and you push it up to the height. Gosh, last time I did this, it hit me in the face. So you push it up to the size of your hank. Once you unravel your hank, you just put it around here and make sure that it's tight and then you'll wrap it up. So again, Elise should be demonstrating that in her video, but in the future, I'm also going to be creating a video that's just specific to that. So stay tuned. All right, well that is it for my five favorite crochet things, all available on Amazon. I'm going to be leaving links for them in the description box below if you're interested in checking any of these out. Now it is time for the giveaway. Because Elise and I decided to collaborate and because I hit 20,000 followers, mm. Thank you all so much for that. I'm going to be giving away a $50 e-gift card for Amazon so that you can purchase some of these items yourself. I'll leave all the details to sign up for the giveaway in the description box, so make sure you don't forget to do that. And now that my video is over, go head over to Elise's channel. Her channel is so wonderful. She has lots of crochet videos, tutorials, reviews, a lot of gorgeous amigurumi creations and she's just the sweetest person ever. So go check her out. I'm sure you'll love her as much as I do. So we've talked about my five crochet favorites, but it's time for me to stop talking. You tell me in the comments, what's your favorite go-to crochet thing? Yarn, hooks, notions, supplies, gadgets, hacks? Let me and everybody else know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, I would love for you to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to be notified of any new tutorials, tips, patterns, and whatever else I decide to throw up. I'll see you next time.